Hi guys, so we're here to do another video. This is my helper. This is my firstborn um, We're here to do another video. So if you can see With these lovely beautiful tests here, I have two more that I'm gonna do uh, Later on probably next week the day before I actually am supposed to have a missed period Wow so these are i have the picture the thumbnail of these on the youtube video channel and here's what's happening is that your face is really messy <laughs> here's what's happening is that um we're going to explain more about these evap lines so the two tests that are in the picture are these two tests just altered to see the lines so that you guys can see the lines on here because if i show you you're not going to be able to see the lines right but there's two really light lines. Now, I want to explain about these EVAP lines some more information again. And what I'm explaining here is... <laughs> stop. <laughs> Here's what's going on. So, the top the test that I did, right, it was taken in the evening at nighttime when everything was diluted. Stop it. <laughs> when everything was diluted. So... That was taking at night. Now, I kept checking it out through the night, through the night, about probably five hours after, six hours, seven hours, um, and nothing showed up. There was nothing. There was no EVAP line. There wasn't anything, so I set it aside, and I put it in the, in the closet. Well, this morning, I went to go take this test, and of course, it was negative. But two hours later, that line appeared. That's supposed to be the EVAP line, and so... I went to go check the other one um, this morning and there was a faint line as well, the EVAP line. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, so if these EVAP lines are real, why wouldn't it have showed the five hours? Um, why wouldn't it have showed the two hours that it showed recently, right? Unless it's picking up not EVAP lines and picking up the HCG hormone. So what I'm thinking is that it really is picking up the HCG hormone. I have a week, I believe, a week and a half before my next miss period, right? And I'm gonna go and explain my story in the next video about why, what's going on with me and why I am where I am right now taking these lovely tests. And um, you can hear my story in my next video about why that's happening. But as of right now, as far as these evap lines i don't think it's the evap lines i think it's it's picking up on the hcg hormone and that's why this one showed two hours later because um there's still not enough in my blood just yet but or my levels are really low and it's picking up it took two hours for my first morning pee compared to this one which took all night for it to show uh so yeah that's what I think. That's how I feel um, about these EVAP lines is that it's not really true EVAP lines. It's uh, the HCG. Now, if you think it's about evaporation lines, okay, so the pee evaporated, it's leaving a, a line, right? Quick and easy way to test is to probably just put some water on it, which I did to see if that line is still there and if it has color. Um, and the lines on both of these are still there even after I've added water to them. Now, coming up later, we're going to give a test to him we're going to do his pee and check his droppers and we're going to see if it leaves evaporation lines and we'll do that test live to see what happens okay guys all right so i'll see you guys later